Scrapbooking, and this is the first layout for Are We There Yet, which is a really cute traveling paper that is available now until March 31st in the Close to My Heart catalog. You can shop with me at dorothy.closetomyheart.com. It's adorable. Anyway, and you'll learn some fun techniques here. So this is the whole kit. I'm going to show you just pretty much everything that comes with it. These are the really nice instructions that we always get with our, our um, catalog kits, not usually with our specials. These are the uh, colors that we're going to use to do the techniques, and I'm going to show you the papers and the sticker sheet. There's the placeholders. Here's the adorable uh, embellishments that come with it, and they're rubberized, so they're really cute and really dimensional. Look at how clear, such clear colors, and really, really, really cute. These are the cardstocks that come with it. It's papaya, sage, and white, and these are our stickers. All sorts of great traveling, and of course you've got to have Are We There Yet? So look at this cute paper. I mean, it's just, how perfect is that for traveling? And I love this, and we have some little M stamps, tiny stamps, that match these exactly. Um, only $4.95 each. And we've got arrow paper and map paper. And on the back, we've got all the stamps for passports and uh, the kind of air, air mail kind of zip strip. Anyway, super cute. These are the little M stamps that go perfectly with these. So you can, uh, Eiffel Tower, I wish and Big Bend. I wish that too. I think I'm going to have to make a bucket list book. So anyway, those are the papers. Now I will tell you, when I started cutting these, which I'm going to show you how, how easy the cuts are, um, this paper, once you cut off the zip strips, which are a half an inch each, then you rotate. How cute is that? See, they're perfect for traveling. You're going to rotate so the little um, pointers are up and down. And you're just going to cut off three inches from each of the pages. And those are going to be backgrounds for the second layout. Super. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got our map paper. Here's our map paper. And I really like this because the background is glacier and... Glacier is such a wonderful neutral color that it just kind of goes with so much. I mean, it's there's a reason why we've had Glacier. It's my favorite color, um, one of my favorite colors. So this is getting cut at five and three-fourths, I think. By 11. And then the um, second paper is going to be cut so that we have um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And those are going to be backgrounds for uh, some of the pictures that are going to go on uh, the, which layout is it? Third layout, I believe. So I'm cutting one, and it's like, five inches by seven, I think. And that's going to be, I believe, on the first layout, a five by seven. So like I said, these are super, super simple kinds of layouts. There's a four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then we've got this adorable paper. And the uh, background that we're going to use is the yellow arrows. And I'm taking a half, of, half an inch off of both sides. So, uh, and the other arrow one is going to be a base page in, in its full 12 by 12. So these are the papaya that we're cutting out. And we're cutting out photo backgrounds uh, for... So they're going to be four by fours and three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So, and then we've got our sage. 
Now, I will tell you just uh, when I was going through to start making this originally, my die cut papers were missing and I didn't realize it until I started trying to make my, my um, these were all getting cut as backgrounds for photos. Uh, anyway, when I was trying to make the pages and I realized I was missing something and I looked all through and uh, come to find out for some very unusual for me not to have all of the pieces. So I called up close to my heart and they got it into the mail that day and I had it within a few days. So I was able to go ahead and uh, just kind of, so these are the, these are the die cuts, tons and tons of tags. I mean, we've got luggage tags that, that are, I mean, we have so many luggage tags, my goodness, but just wait, we're going to do a really fun technique with this. For one thing, we're going to use, we've got Bluebird, Glacier, um, Honey Butter, uh, sage and papaya and we are going to be uh, distressing the edges that match the different tags and then we're going to make kind of a color haze I don't know how else to call it kind of a sort of like a little cloud behind each of the colors of that color so the glacier tag will get uh, edged distressed in, ink distressed in glacier, and then there'll be like a glacier cloud around it. So it really is a nice effect uh, for this, this um, layout. And I'm just making sure I have taken everything off of here. Now this fun background, that's for the third layout. <clears throat> and all of those triangle pieces that are white, they come out and those are trash. Now, if you want to keep them and use them, you could totally do that and use them for a whole other layout and color them or even stamp them the way you want. Like if you stamped them, if you got the little M stamp, you could stamp those triangles, which, you know, that would be a really good idea. So the backing for that is the map because it's roads, so that kind of makes sense, right? So these also are going to get edged. So that's going to go on the third layout. Such fun die cuts, right? Really, really like this. I like this kit. I love this kit, actually. Now, this is kind of interesting. So this is a nice bracket. Um, I love that shape. That's one of our cricket shapes that we have. But look at this one. So, you know, I was kind of, I got puzzled once again because that yellow, the honey paper, look at that. The honey paper uses that as background. So I was kind of thinking, uh-oh, I'm, I'm missing one piece of the map paper, but this is what they did to that. So, I mean, what a great use for the edge. And frankly, for the other a uh, bracket, you could use that as a white edge for a darker color. Um, anyway, it, it's just, I feel like we're using things as much as we can. So I'm just kind of putting that on there to kind of uh, make fewer pieces for me to deal with. So this is the really cute background that no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find it. And that's when I called him up and said, I'm missing, missing some p pages. And I love these little planes. So this is going to get the sage uh, photo backgrounds. And I'm going to go ahead just so you can see how it goes. I'll put the photo mats on there, um, you know, just to, to get the, the feel for what, what it's all going to look like. So this is, I'm just kind of doing a dry run here. I'm just kind of placing placing all of the pieces where they need to go to make sure I've got everything ready. Each of those little tags has the little hole punch in it that you have to pop out. And just so you know, all of those tags on the back, it says either Project 1, Project 2, or Project 3. So um, 
you could just sort them by that and make three little piles. So you've got all of your piles in one. I didn't do that. So I'm sorting as I'm going here. So we have, see how there's, there's a bluebird and then there's a sage and then there's a papaya and the honey, honey butter and the glacier. So all of those are going to get trimmed in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the, get the photos out of the way because the other, the other pieces take a lot more, um, finagling. So I'm going to go ahead and use my T-square to line up the, the photos. And I wasn't thinking right. I needed to come over to the right more. Yeah, there we go. It's like two, two and three quarters inches over from the side. And then the other one gets a quarter of an inch and then it drops uh, down to like inch and three quarters or so. Anyway, it's all in your instructions. See, there's our colors, bluebird, honey butter, sage, glacier, and papaya. And so I took a half of a brand new sponge just to keep everything all clean and cut it. So this is half of a sponge. And the sponges are like a dollar or something. So this is one of the tickets and what, I mean, one of the stickers that goes under. And so I'm just going to put it down before I put my other little tag in place. Um, anyway, I cut them up into five pieces. So each uh, ink would have its own, its own little stamp and I wouldn't mess up any colors. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm just blotting color. Um, I'm kind of putting it in place and kind of blotting color around where uh, that tag is going to go or banner, whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of kind of fun. And then here's a little uh, bluebird colored piece of luggage that's going to go there. Now we've got our sage. So I'm keeping all of my sponges with their particular color. So, and then I'm tucking it under. So I haven't pressed anything down real hard. Um, and I'm just kind of tucking it under until it looks good. But if I can't tuck it under enough, then I cut off. And that's, that's fine. And now I'm just kind of blotting some color. Because you get a very, when you use these sponges, you get a very um, uh, speckly looking thing. I mean, if you want a smoother look and you want to use a brush or whatever, you could do that. But I kind of like the, the, uh, this look. Now this is also a, uh, sticker. And so I'm going to blot some color behind it. And then I'm going to put some papaya on this cute little heart tag. And it's going to get, there's a lot of tucking going on here. I don't want to cover too much of that other, the previous tag, because it's a journaling card. I mean, there's places all over the place where you can journal on these, on these layouts. So, but it's always nice to have a little journaling card. So, and then I've got my honey butter. And it's also getting tucked between the two two pictures. So you get to use all the colors. I mean, they really make a point to use all of the colors on this layout, which I really I really like because they they're leaving no no color unturned for sure. And we've got another sticker going here for the travel guide, and of course it's going it's matching its little what it's going on top of. So I'm going to tuck this little ball here, and then there's this, look at that, is that not adorable? I mean, are you ready to go sightseeing with that little bag? Put your camera and your water in there, and 
passport and you're off off and running. Okay, and then we've got another little little area of interest and it's going to get this cute little like a cosmetic bag. And then we're going to go that way. I I have fallen in love with this. I think it's just really really cute. Okay, so for page two, we're doing the same kind of thing, but it's going to be kind of opposite. So they're going to be going down instead of up. So we've got a lot of interest going on one side and then coming over, and it allows your eye to drop down and look lower on the next page. So we're going over, whoops, like a inch and a half, I think it is. And then we're coming down like two inches, one and three quarters, something like that. Like I said, it's on your on your instructions. And these are not instructions. Like with our special promos like Daisy Daisy and uh, Now and Forever, you have to print your own instructions. And, you know, depending on how good your printer is, um, yeah, see, there's Project 1 and Project 3, so that doesn't go on this one. So once again, we're taking the accent, accented tag, and then we're going to color it. It's coordinating color. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oop! Here, this is... I, I think that these luggage tags... Um, don't really, they didn't have a color on them. Um, so, you know, since I was in that mode, I, I put color on it and put some sage uh, around. And I'm probably going to, oh, there we go. Yeah, you want to you wanna leave this one long because it goes kind of across and touches the next picture. So you just have to be careful and not cut off what you're going to use. And then you've got this world map that's going across here. So very cute. You could pop that up if you wanted to. I love these luggages. That looks like a, like a camera bag. I mean, and now we've got a stacked, a stacked luggage. So darn cute. These little bags feel really good too. There's, here's our glacier. Going all around this tag. It's a very long tag. So I think they have this one used for uh, journaling. They do. It's it's there. You can see it on the instructions. Um, anyway, our instructions are... So when I have our regular instructions, it's a little bit easier for me to read the sizes for cutting than on my own printer. But then on my own printer, I'm always putting trying to put two pages to one so everything gets way too small, but I'm not using so much paper. Okay, so now we're going to get, I'm just putting a little bit of the bluebird there. Taking a little of the tag off, just a little nib. And that's going there, and then we've got our papaya. So now if you don't have all of our colors, you know, you wouldn't necessarily have to trim everything in the color, but it really is effective. And um, just to let you know, I have, I have some original ink pads from Close to My Heart that I got, um, I started this probably in the early 2000s, or even earlier. Anyway, a long time ago. And I still have the ink pads, and they still work. So it's a very good investment, and uh, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna regret getting them because they last forever. Okay, so we're putting our little compass down, and another piece of luggage, and a little tag that says East, and what a trip! Oh, what a trip! So if you like this, let me know. Tell me what you think. And, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be doing the next two layouts in separate videos so it doesn't get too burdensome for you. 
Um, but anyway, one at a time. And here's number one. I think it's a winner. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you always. So take care and stay tuned for the layout too on Are We There Yet? So I was just showing the colors that we're using. So there we go. And if you want to buy anything, it's at dorothy.closetomyheart.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.